I created this video for someone that has fears and challenges. You have a certain goal that you want to achieve or you have something that you desire to do, but you are afraid and you allow fear to stop you from achieving your goal. You may want to change your career, move to a different state, starting a new business, or either start writing your first book. And the only thing that's stopping you is you're afraid to. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to face your fear, why you should, and how to achieve your goal. One thing that we all have in common in life is that we have faced different fears and challenges. Some of my fears were getting my GED, going to college, learning a new skill, public speaking. The biggest fear for me of getting my GED was that I didn't have an educational background like the average person. I can remember when I was a teenager, every so often I would think about what it would feel like to have my GED and the different opportunities that I would have once I got it. And at that time, it was just a dream because it felt impossible for me. And I do know one of the main things that encouraged me and motivated me to want to get my GED is that I had such a strong desire. Things that's positive, it's okay to desire because it motivates you to achieve the goal. There was so much that I needed to learn and a lot that I didn't know, but I had such a strong determination until I didn't focus on things that I was liking. I even stopped making excuses for myself and I also stopped blaming others. And one of the main reasons why I desired to get my GED is because I wanted to go to college. So I knew that the only way that that was going to happen is that first I had to get my GED and in order to get it, I had to study. Once you start working towards your goal, give yourself grace. Don't be hard on yourself and don't compare yourself to others. Because if you do, all that's going to do is just discourage you and make you want to quit. So give yourself grace. When I was studying for my GD was things that I have never heard of before. It was my first time learning about it. So that's why I had to give myself grace and show some compassion towards myself. Whatever goal that you are trying to accomplish, don't focus on how long it's going to take because all that's going to do is make you not want to achieve your goal. Instead, focus on how it's going to feel, how your life will change, all the different opportunities that you will have now. And the more you think about those things, the more that it's going to encourage you to do it. With some things, you have to practice and do it over and over again in order for you to achieve the goal or in order for you to get good at whatever it is that you're trying to learn how to do. And I think that is where we mess up at some time because certain things that we want to accomplish and we're so scared until whenever we try that particular thing and it doesn't work out, it doesn't go the way that we felt that it should, we get discouraged and we stop. And the problem is not that it's not meant for you to do it, but it's more to do with you didn't prepare yourself for it. And that's why you didn't receive the outcome that you desired. Another thing that you don't want to do is to listen to the negative voices inside your head telling you that you can't. It's not meant for you to do. Because what I have learned personally is that the thing that you fear the most and you're so scared to do, and the reason why you feel like that is because that it is God's will for you to do that particular thing. Once you overcome that particular fear, that is when you will walk into your destiny. The thing that God created you for. So the enemy fight you with fear about that particular thing and he make you feel that you're not capable because you are so afraid. Take small steps towards your goal. Barely moving is better than not moving at all. I'm so glad I started my YouTube channel because before I started my YouTube channel, I was a little shy, very introverted. I had a problem with expressing myself, gathering my thoughts of what I needed to say. When I started my YouTube channel, I learned how to organize my thoughts. 
how to communicate with others in the comments section. And I noticed that the more I did it, the more comfortable I became. And I actually started enjoying expressing myself. And even now, I noticed that I'm comfortable with communicating with people face to face. I learned how to conduct myself when someone is interviewing me and I actually enjoy it. So whatever it is that you desire to do and you are scared, the best thing that you can do is start taking steps toward that thing because the more steps that you take towards whatever it is that you want to accomplish is preparing you for your destination that you're trying to reach. As I mentioned before, public speaking has been one of my biggest fears and it's something that I just was awful at. My husband has been pastoring for 29 and a half years. And over the years since he's been a pastor, I think I tried to teach one of our Bible studies maybe two or three times. And each time I tried to express myself, I would get so nervous until I would always forget what I needed to say. So I felt that I wasn't called to do that. And even though I felt that I wasn't called to do that, deep down inside of me, I had a desire to want to learn how to become comfortable with public speaking. So even though I had a strong desire to want to learn how to express myself, and the reason why I wanted to express myself with an audience is because I love motivational speakers. I like the way it makes me feel inside. Once I have listened to someone that had some struggles in their life, and they share how they have overcome some of the obstacles that they have experienced. It encouraged me and it made me want to step out on, on faith and try it too. And I knew that with some of the experiences that I have been through in my life, that once I shared it with someone, that it would be a help to someone else. But it was so hard for me to ever see myself doing it because I feared it so. And I would allow the fear to take over my behavior until I wasn't able to express what it was that God wanted me to share. A month ago, my husband announced in church that we were going to have a Women's Day program and it was going to be May the 20th. And he said that one of the guest speakers would be my wife. And when he said it, I began to get a little scared. And I remember thinking why he didn't ask me about this before he announced that. But then I knew that the reason why he didn't because it would have gave me the opportunity to say no. Even though I start feeling fearful once he announced that, it was like I knew it was God's will and I knew it was something that I needed to do. And I knew that the time was now. What I did the next day is I started praying to God and asking Him what He wanted me to share, what He wanted me to talk about. The theme of the program was being a lady at all times. And I thought about the title and I thought about myself and I was thinking, okay, this is perfect for me. It should be easy for me to do. But then once I start trying to gather up the scriptures and focusing on what God wanted me to say. At first, I began to second guess myself because this was something that I haven't done a long time. Not long ago now, it was maybe like two months ago, I had to teach one of our Bible studies. And I was a little afraid, but what helped me with that is that I know that on Bible study night, we don't have nearly as many members that would come to church but on our Sunday morning service, that is our main service. And our Women's Day was on a Sunday morning. So even though I was kind of afraid, I thought about how that you need to prepare yourself. So start way ahead of time. Don't wait till the week of. Go on and start gathering your thoughts and scriptures that you want to share about the topic. And then you go from there. Don't wait until the last minute. So once I started ahead of time, I got all my scriptures together. And I even thought about some examples that I can use for my personal experience. Four days before the program, I began to get really afraid. I was so afraid until at nighttime, I had a hard time sleeping. And it started on that Thursday night. And the program was the upcoming Sunday. So Thursday night, I barely could sleep. That Friday, I couldn't. And that Saturday night, 
I was up all that night. I may have gotten three hours of sleep. But even though I was afraid, a voice kept telling me that you're going to be okay. Don't fear. Put your trust in me. The areas that you feel that you are weak at, allow me to be your strength. You're going to be fine. You're not going to be nervous. You're going to enjoy the moment. So even though I had a hard time resting that night, I kept focusing on those positive voices that was in my head. It kept telling me that you're going to be okay. And it also told me this too. The reason why you have such a hard time in this particular area is because that this is something that that's meant for you to do and this is your trial that you have to go through and the only way that you are going to stop feeling like this is that you're going to have to pass the test and this is something that you're going to have to do every so often and once you start doing it you're not going to have to go through this i began to get a little weary early that morning i was so tired because i barely got any sleep when it was time for me to get up felt okay. I was even calm. That morning, I wasn't fearful. Even when I was getting dressed for church, I wasn't fearful. And I even thought about my mom, how that over the years, she had been telling me that she felt that I was a preacher. And the reason why she said that, because she felt such a strong hunger for God when she was around me. And I do remember whenever she would tell me that, I would always let her know, well, mom, I don't think that I should preach because it don't feel comfortable for me. And I felt like that things that you were meant to do, you should be able to be able to do it naturally without it being so hard for you to try to do. And I remember her telling me that when she first started pastoring, it was so hard for her, how that she didn't have nothing to say. So what she would do is when she started her church, she would just have her members pray all the time. She said they prayed the majority of her services. And then later, God started giving her things to say. At my church, I am the praise and worship leader. So that morning I had to leave praise and worship. And I noticed that morning when I got ready to start, I started feeling a little nervous. And I noticed that my hands, while I was playing the keyboard while I was singing, my hands were shaking a little bit. But even though I started to feel a little fearful, I didn't let it hinder me. I felt a peace inside and I felt that everything was going to be fine. Once it was time for me to bring forth the word for that day, I felt comfortable. I felt capable and I was excited about doing it. I was able to say and express everything that I needed to say. And it was only because I put my trust in God more than myself. I gave him my weakness. When you give God your weakness, he will take away the fear and he will give you his strength. In the Bible, it talks about how that his strength is made perfect in all weaknesses. So things that we feel that we're not able to do, all we have to do is give him all weaknesses and just allow him to do the rest. I knew that it was meant for me to bring forth the word that day only because it's my season to stop allowing fear to run my life because there are things that God wants me to do. And the only way that I was able to do it is by depending on Him more than myself. So I want to tell you that's what you got to do. Whatever it is that you decide within your heart that you need to do, but you are so scared because you feel like you're not capable, you're not smart enough. You don't have what it takes. You don't have the money. Give your burden to the Lord. In the Bible, it talks about, come to me, all of ye who are heavy laden, take your yoke upon me and I will give you rest because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So whatever it is that you're facing today, give it to God. Put more confidence in God than in yourself, and He will give you the strength. And once you do that, you'll be able to walk into your destiny. I hope this video inspired you more than anything and encouraged you to get up and face your fears. I have a question for you. What is your biggest fear, and what are you going to do about it? If you enjoy my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow. If you want to improve yourself, 
and grow as a Christian wife or mom, join my Facebook group. I would love to have you. It's only for women. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload. Bye.